They, right. they have to sign a contract to be at, 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 at the hub here. Right. Um, I, my, my rub here, and, and I want to get into this a little bit, is this is kind of a regional push. And Commissioner Gordon Gooden, I heard him say that he would be willing to put this money out even if Southwest went to Okaloosa County. Yes, well, and, something like that. And, yes. and uh, I'm just going to have to say that I completely, wholeheartedly disagree with that. Well, the money's not going, the, the bed tax money now we're talking about, they would implement another cent, bring it to five cents, and they would put a cap on that, $200,000 cap per year. Uh, the money would go out to advertise Santa Rosa County as a tourist destination in, in a wider area. In the, yeah, but but, the but if the plane lands in Okaloosa County, right, and they have a beach and they have right, the hotels right, right, right. and they have the amusement parks and all that kind of stuff, you throw you're throwing my money away. Well, now. they're they're still advertising. They're advertising Santa Rosa County, is what we're being. Yeah, told. so right. But if you get off of a plane in Okaloosa County, you're gonna know to drive. Uh, 50 minutes to the west to get to us? Well, Okaloosa has, um, I think, condoized their beach a little more than we have here. So if you're looking, you for, the, if you're looking for the wild beach, you'd probably still have to come over here. I mean, you'd be better off heading towards the bar anyway. Right. So, so, the, so, bring some of them so the bottom line on the dollars, ladies and gentlemen, is, and, and I did find this interesting, the TDC, the Church Development Council, uh, one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars today. Right. Then, then another hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars from Team Santa Rosa. Now. So right. Uh, you, you know, I, which I, means from the Santa Rosa tax I, I got I got to stop there a minute and say, wait a second. Team doesn't generate any funds. They're not selling donuts on the street. They're not. Yeah, they're they're not they're not helping me sell shish kebabs right. to raise money. It's right. taxpayers' money. Correct. Yeah. So you know, uh, Commissioner Don Salter and Commissioner Gordon Gooden and Bob Cole, who's over economic development, uh, just just because you want to say it comes from team, it still comes from us, the taxpayer. Yes. And uh, I just. Um, if if they come to Pensacola, you know, look, I'm I'm okay with this. They go to Okaloosa County, I'm not okay with. It. I don't. I just I just don't think we should raise that money. I mean, for goodness sakes, recently the zoo asked for a little money on an entity that's already here, and I know there's some questions yeah. involved in that entity, but they were pretty much just shut down, no way, no how. And you know, there's 30, 40 jobs over there. The the the. You, you know, and just no right. way. But all of a sudden, uh, there's talk of Southwest, and 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 I'm hearing numbers uh, potentially as high as a million dollars coming from a county. Well, speaking of tourism, Deborah. Speaking of tourism. Right. We uh, we we you had kind of been digging around a little bit, and you yeah. found an interesting tidbit. Well, a couple months ago, uh, we talked about how Eglin Air Force Base has a piece of property on uh, the beach in Okaloosa. And they're, it's been very quiet. But uh, they're trying to set up what they're calling it, the Emerald Breeze development is what they're calling it. And they're, they're trying to basically privatize it. It's, a, it's right on the beach. It's just a big empty swath in between two. With companies. developments all With around developments it. developments all around right. it. Um, they want to give it over to a private lease uh, basically a 40, 50 year type lease and then this company will run a hotel for them. And um, Will I get to go to that hotel? Well, they're saying that you will. I've asked them some questions about whether <laughs> ordinary old Floridians are going to be able to get in there whenever they want to and I still have not received any answers back. But here's the problem. is According to uh, federal law, if, um, if Eglin decides they don't need a piece of the beach that they're sitting on, federal law requires that they return that beach back to the seashore. Right. That is part of the national seashore. And um, so what they've done is they've said, well, we might need it one day. We have training operations in the area. We're keeping so, it in our back pocket. So there's about uh, five, 400 to 500 feet there, that there's yes. no, but there's buildings on three sides of it and water on the south side of it of course right 
So our you, building's on two sides. So maybe they're thinking about doing a war game there? They well get out the machine guns, exactly. maybe pinpoint bomb droppings there. Exactly. I I got a reply from them that said, Well, we, we might use it one day. We we might still need it for our, our, our training operations one day. So that's sort of the the uh, loophole that they're using right. to say, Well, we don't have to turn it back to the seashore. Which is um you know, I mean that that beach belongs to the public. That's why it's that's why it's designated national seashore property. Right. Well, and, uh, you, you, you know, look, and, and we and we've and we've batted around the beach stuff before. You know, it it gets back to the people that 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 want to control the beach. They say, oh no, it's still a public beach. Right. But then I say, if I go down there and leave my Hobie cat in your backyard facing the ocean, right. you're going to call the sheriff's department and have me arrested for trespassing. Correct. So, and 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 we know full well around in the Destin area, there's there's places there now that you have to pay to walk out on the beach. You know. And well, I, well, I've asked them. Will the public, will the public have access to the beach? And they said, well, we we and you know this is military speak. Well, we anticipate the public access to the beach will not be changed. Well, what does that mean? I mean, it looks like there's a. <laughs> A line across the property right now. Well, it it just continues to, you know, in in in. I think if we had the time, and you go back, you're probably going to find that the other portions of that used to belong to the military, and that's how those condominiums got there to start out with. They just happened to be holding on to that one for some reason. I mean, right. Well, and that's a concern. Is if they're turning a piece of private property over to a or I'm sorry, a piece of public property over to a private, um, right. you know, hotel, whoever. And 40 years down the road, they're just going to, I mean, it's going to be a handover. It's its basically right. a de facto handover of what is a piece of the national seashore. Right. Well, it just, you know, one more example of the government with too much power. And, and you know, they just want to play games with it. There's no right. way that, there's no way that that piece of property will ever have a military use. Well, and here's the thing is is if they've got a if they've got um, a hotel there and they're charging, I don't know, special rates, whatever for the military, that means all the hotels around there then lose all the business. Right. That would have come um, from those and, and right. this is what Un we're unfair competition <laughs> exactly. using government tax taxpayers' money right. to to prop up Right, which is okay with health care. <laughs> the beach <laughs> yeah 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 well Deborah let's uh, oh one other thing while we were um, we were kind of mentioned something about the zoo and whether you're for it or against it um, there was a, a little rumbling that that went on apparently the zoo through the Santa Rosa County School District made sure that every child in the Santa Rosa County School District yes. received a flyer in their backpack right, right. And uh, asking about um, it was a survey to see if they wanted to be taxed. Right. Basically, is what it will come down to. So apparently, there still is a little bit of um, hope. A little there hope. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. There's they're still working the zoo issue, so um, we shall see. And we and we've kind of said in the past, I don't have a problem with that, but the people who are running the zoo now, especially after what happened with the baby hippo and the giraffe. And all that stuff. Got to have um, better oversight. Well, they need to cut their losses. They need to say, look, you know, we can't make a go of it. Turn it over to the public. The public's going to pay for it. The public needs to have oversight right. and, and Absolutely. ownership. And, and, and they, it looks like maybe, maybe they don't want to have that happen. Right. They want to have their cake and eat it too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this ends another show. I'm Jerry Cooley. I'm Deborah Nelson. Good night.